let's make a simple but stunning card with Astro Paste. Hello everyone, my name is Brennan and welcome to Brennan's Crafty Corner. Hey everyone, my name is Brennan and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be using some of Simon Hurley's and Ranger's amazing Astro Paste. And if you somehow haven't seen it yet, it's a really awesome glitter paste that is just, it looks so amazing on a card. And I'm not saying I invented it, but when Solar Paste came out, I did add glitter to it, so play the clip! I'm pulling up with receipts over here, and here is me adding some glitter to Solar Paste when the Solar Paste first came out. This was the day it released, so you can make your own decision. I'm, I'm, I'm joking. I just really love the Astro Paste and all of Simon Hurley's pastes. I have a draw that's completely full of them. And yeah, <laughs> I do just want to note when these came out, Simon did send them to me and I did a very, very interesting YouTube live that did not go over well <laughs> with them. And I've used them on Instagram. Make sure you follow me on Instagram too. But yeah, I use them. I love them. They're really, really fun and give a beautiful result. So let's get into it. So as you've already seen, based on the title and the intro, I'm going to be playing with some Astro Pastes by Simon Hurley and Ranger. These pastes, while they look kind of creamy on the outside, are chocked full of glitter and it, they look so amazing when applied on paper and allowed to dry. As you can see, I have a tiny bit dried on the outside of my jar so you can start to see how good they look once dry, but these have become a favorite of mine. I don't love glitter and I want to be clear, I don't like glitter in card making. But that's because glitter typically comes off. What's amazing about these pastes is that the glitter does not come out. You can rub your hand all over it as much as you want and it will stay on the card. And that's why I love these so much. With the Astro Paste, we're also going to be using the Stacked Blocks stencil from A Colorful Life Designs. This is just a really fun stencil and I thought it would look super cool with the Astro Paste. And when we put the stencil down on paper with any paste, it's really good to use some pixie spray because that keeps the stencil down, prevents the paste from getting under. I've had luck without using pixie spray with Simon's pastes before, but just in case, I do like to still put it on. You're supposed to take this outside and use it or use it in a well-ventilated area. We'll just say for the video that I do that. Anyways, we're also going to be using a piece of black cardstock that is three and a quarter inches by four and a half inches, so an inch smaller than a um, standard A2 card base. And to this is what we'll be putting our Astro Paste on. So without further ado, let's get, I was going to say let's get pasty up in here, but that, that's not really a good phrase. Yeah, I don't, I don't really have a good phrase to say. Let's get, let's get sparkling. Let's get sparkling up in here. So without further ado, let's get sparkling up in here. So before I add the stencil down, I have sprayed the pixie spray on here just for that extra stick. I do like to use a little bit of mint tape on the back of the cardstock just so the stencil better adheres. The pixie tape probably will keep it on, but I just like to have it as a backup as well. We're all about making sure the card comes out perfect here, so we're going to use it. <laughs> we're just going to give that a nice press to make sure everything is adhered. And now we can add our pastes. So I'm going to go clear skies, tropical tango and then later gator because clear skies is your blue, tropical tango is kind of that like bluish green, and then later gator is your green. So I think those will blend really nicely. So I'm just going to go in with a palette knife and scoop a decent amount on. This stencil has a lot of open area, so we need to cover a lot of that area with the paste. So I'm going to do probably more than I will need. I also really should have a paper towel in here to wipe off my palette knife, but no, we're just going to use my stamp chamois. So now we're going to go in with that Tropical Tango, and once again, we're going to add a fairly big clump there. You don't probably have to use as much or even anything close to this, but I just want to make sure I have all my bases covered. And now for the last color, my Later Gator, which I have not used yet, so it's kind of full. Okay, that was a little bit much, but whatever, it's fine. I'm very much a blue-purple-green person, so I'm kind of shocked that I haven't used the Later Gator yet. Hmm. Oh, okay, it's on my hands. Okay. Okay. Stamp shaming was a bad idea, people. Don't do that. And now I am going to brush this down using my Simon Hurley scraper. We're just going to keep moving and also kind of go side to side and adjust where we're scraping. So I'm going to like scrape on the right more and then move it over to the left and do that a bunch just so we can get those colors to blend nicely. Okay, that's looking fairly good. So we can peel back the stencil and hold our breath. And would you look at that? Oh, that looks great. And now I am going to go run this underneath the sink, but I'm going to save this because we're going to do something with this when I come back. So now what you can do is just take it and brush it over a panel and then you have a second background. You could also put this through stencil and that would totally work. And then you could have kind of like a partial stencil background because that wouldn't be enough to fill up the full stencil. But yeah. Okay. Who's ready for the reveal? Are you ready? Are you ready? Uh, 
Ah, uh, bam. Look at that shine. We have our clear skies. We have our tropical tangle. We have our later gator. Of course, I memorized the colors we used. But just look at that shine. We don't really have much glitter on that pointer finger. There might be a little bit there from being left over. So we'll go over this. Look, there's still none. There's still none. And that glitter will not come off of here. I just have it on my hands from making the card when the paste was still wet. So now we're going to add a sentiment. So I'm going to be using this Celebrate dye with its shadow. And I believe this is from Pink Fresh. I do not know the set at this point, so I do apologize. But I'm going to cut out the sentiment in black cardstock. Then I'm going to do the shadow in white. And then we're going to add a little bit extra to it. And we're going to add this special day. And I'm going to stamp this on black and white cardstock just so it has like the same look to it. And then I'll put them together. I also just want to show you a quick tip for when you're cutting out your sentiments. I always kind of forget to show this part. So I just want to make sure you all know. And if you already know, that's great. But I like to align my sentiment with the edge of this clear piece. That way, even if I stamped it crooked or anything, it can still look really good and have an even border. So I have the background, we have the celebrate, and we have the it's your birthday. So now we gotta figure out placement. I think I wanna do the celebrate not exactly in the middle, but a little bit upwards. I could put the it's your birthday here. Or, or, I could put it like off centered. Ooh, wait. I don't know what I like more. Send help. Someone send help. Can't decide. I think I'm going to do it off-centered and to the right. Because since we read left to right, I just really like how it looks. So that's what I'm going to do. If you disagree, what's your opinion in the comments? Say what I should have done with this sentiment. If you agree with me, if you don't, if you think I should have done something totally different, you can say that too. <laughs> but yeah, sound off in the comments whether I should have put the sentiment where I did. Or where I'm going to. Because I haven't done it yet. And we're going to put it right... Here, I, let's move that down a little. Okay, okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. And my final step is gonna just be adding a little foam tape. I don't have to show that because it's foam tape, but I feel like it would be cool to off kilter this. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, should I do it? Should I? No, I'm not gonna do it because I put the sentiment on, but I feel like, I feel like this would look really cool if I put it off kilter and put the sentiment straight. Obviously the sentiment's already glued, so I can't change it. But that would have looked kind of cool and kind of different. But yeah. So last step, just going to add a little foam base so we can put the card front onto the card base. And also, don't worry, I, I got the extra foam tape on hand because that's not enough for this card. But I think I have enough. I, I don't know. Do you think I have enough? I think I have enough. And here's the finished card, which you basically already seen. But I really love how this came out. I just can't get over the shine from the Astro Paste. Really, really simple to make. Didn't take me that long but it's just really, really pretty for that shine. And this is a card that if you're sending it to someone, they're not gonna realize it's simple because look at the glitter. They're not gonna think glitter is simple. So yeah, it's really amazing. I just love it. Aren't these pastes just so amazing? The shine they give, the glitter, it's just perfection. Like I said, I don't love using glitter. I don't like when it gets all over my hands and ends up all over my craft room and then I find it two weeks later on my math homework. True story. Yeah, <laughs> but it's just so amazing. I really love the Astro Paste. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and bye everyone. Happy crafting.